this is probably one of my first reviews. No, it's my second review that I've ever done. Don't normally do them. You usually see me out doing a hike, doing a walk, doing a coast to coast, whatever. Anyway, so today we're gonna to be talking about day sacks, rucksacks, bergens, whatever you wanna call them. So we've all seen the main ones that are flying around out there. Exos 48, obviously Osprey, made famous by loads of YouTubers just because it's simple, it's lightweight and convenient. I wanted something a bit more lighter, especially to do my through hikes. Good from another company called Atom Packs. You know, you're talking sub, sub 700, 800 grams for a bag, which is brilliant. I forget what weight this is, but superb bag, got me through the coast to coast. Yeah, really good. But today, we're gonna be talking about this next one. Ooh, it's a heavy one. This is the MT900 Symbium 70 plus 10 for class from Decathlon. So I'm gonna be going through this from top to bottom for all the pockets just so you can get a feel of what it looks like and how big it is. So we'll start off at the top, bungees, put your jacket in the top, put your sit pad in the top. Um, it's got this nice top pouch and let's just look at this because it's huge. And when I mean huge, you know, you can stick anything in this saucepan, frying pan, cooking, it's mafusing. So there's your top pouch. It's got a nice separate one there, but that is absolutely huge. So you won't get that on any of the Ospreys. I mean, the Osprey 48 is a little bit smaller, can't get half as much stuff in. I really like that. Just because of that, I can get all my utility stuff in there, which is great. Cooking equipment, easy, really good. Moving on from that, we're going down to the side pockets. Now, if we undo the compression straps, you have these side pockets. Now, the side pockets are huge. In fact, I'll show you how huge they are. That is a 1.5 litre bottle of water. Now, this is how big they are. Another, another half a litre in there, easy. Or you can get two of these uh, 800 millilitre smart bottles. Get two of them in, pretty easy. There's one, you can fit another one in there. Brilliant. Compression straps, fully adjustable. Below that, you've then got another pocket where if you wanted, Obviously, you can stick your sit mat up here or your sleep mat. Same sleep side, exactly the same. Absolutely huge. You've then got your hiking pole straps and they fit perfectly, nice and tight. You've then got the water bottle holders. Any size, because you've got a little compression drawstring there as well. So, 1.5 litres or You've got your 800 mil, which would hold in a hell of a lot better than a 1.5 litre. That is on both sides. You've then got your usual, which you, you can either stick your tent on the bottom or you can stick your sit pad, whatever you like. Don't forget about the lid. Inside the lid, you've got another pocket where when you get this, this Bergen, it will come with a fully waterproof uh, bag just to go over the actual uh, Bergen itself. Right, now, sometimes you may want something to stay on the bottom or at the top, doesn't matter. This will do it all. If you uh, undo the buckle at the top, Velcro. It's got two zips down the front and sides. And that's it. So what you can have is your sleeping bag at the bottom, tent, warm clothing, cooking equipment, drone, all your camera equipment, whatever you take. It's a mahoosy backpack and I love it. Now, when you look at the, the padding on this, it's still got your breathability. So you can have the airflow through this area and up through the centre. But the best thing about this one is you can change, if you're a large or a tiny person, you can change it with a simple goes up and down. All right, brilliant, absolutely superb. Um, you can also change the strap heights up here with these bits here. Depending on your size, it will change as well. All right, there is a big thing that really pulled me to this backpack as well. Symbium technology. Now when you hike, when you walk, as you walk, 
your backpack bounces with you, it goes in motion with you. And this is one of my main things that I, I was looking for. Never mind, like I said, the convenience of being able to get into the back, but the convenience of that as well is brilliant. The only last thing to say about this is basically, yes, it's got two pockets on the hips, which everybody wants to pull it, can with a phone or anything else out, so it does work out really well. Obviously, you can attach other stuff to the backpack. Um, you can stick your camel pack in there. Um, other, yeah, it's got so many utility factors on it, it's absolutely superb. So putting this up against the Osprey Efa AG70, I think you're looking at 2.36 kilograms. But when you when you look at this bag, it's not 2.36, it is slightly higher, it's 2.7 kilograms. When you look at a, an Osprey Ether AG, um, like I said, 2.36 kilograms, you're looking at roughly 190 quid at the lower end. This one from, this one is the four class, like I said, Symbium 900. This weighs in 120 quid, 129 quid, sorry. Um, from Decathlon, I said I wanted something big, um, not weighing massive amounts, but just enough, and I can carry anything I want in it. It was just a short bet for me. So I have my winter, my summer, and my through bike bag. And to be honest, I don't think there's anything else you need. As long as you've got, you know, if, if you are out in the lakes, or you're out in the peaks, and you're out there all the time, you're up in Scotland, all you need is three, three types of bags for your different occasions, or one for all. I use this one a hell of a lot because the price was, it, it's a lot, but compared to what you use it for, it came in so handy for me. I wanted to do the coast to coast in a good time and a good distance, you know, breaking good time, breaking good distance, and it just works out so well. The Osprey, I've had this from when I very first started, from when I started watching some of the top YouTubers. So let's get rid of these. I just helped you out with the sizing guide. I'm going to put the Cloud Peak in here and a few other things just so you can see how much you can really get in. Right, so we have DOS bag, warm kit, just in case you want a few meals. We've got the uh, we've got the jet boil. I've got my Tokes 900. I've got a sit mat, so you'll see it all when I get it all out now. Right, then we have the my warm kit, which has got a couple of compression tops and a thermal top, um, and my so I've got my down jacket in there, got a thermal top and a compression top, just in that little bag. In this here, I've got I've got the uh, OEX Leviathan inside as well. I've got the, um, the tent, which is the Cloud Peak 2, which is the 2022 model. On top of that, like I said, I've got my Tokes 900. And then I've got Jet Boil. And to top it all off, I've got the Wide Sea Sit Map. So you can get a hell of a lot in there. And that's just in that main compartment. There we have it once again, tent bars, tent, sleeping bag, Leviathan, 900, uh, wide sea mat, warm kit, jet ball, easy fit. So if you, um, if you like watching us do our hikes, we do have a little bit of banter and we do take the mick out of each other. Um, we are planning on doing a couple of through hikes next year, some quite long ones to be honest, similar to the uh, coast to coast. Um, if you're interested in that type of thing, give us a like, subscribe if you want. Um, but yeah, it's, all nice. it's always nice to see a nice happy face again. Uh, if you ever see us on a hike, Aaron and myself, we usually go out together anyway, so yeah, it's nice, it's comfortable. So thank you very much and uh, tune in to the next one.